What I'm making today is an improvised or emergency two-can candle or oil burner. What I have here is a ordinary tuna can and an ordinary 12-ounce can that's been cut down to about an inch and a half high. They're going to go together just like that. But I also need some cedar bark or some kind of bark to make a wick out of. I broke a little piece off here and what you'll need to do is kind of rough it up a little bit. Make sure you get some fibers going there. I'm going to set this wick right inside the can and lean it up against the side. I need to add a fuel. In this case, I'm using mineral oil or baby oil. Add just enough to cover the bottom of the can. Don't need a lot. I'm going to set this can right on top. Make sure it's sticking out a little bit. Set this can right on top. There I have my wick sticking out and light it. Now hopefully it'll start wicking up that oil. And I think it is because if it wasn't it would probably burn itself out already. You see it's burning quite well. Now the reason you need this can on top is because you want to limit the amount of surface that the oil has. If you have too much surface for the oil, what happens is when that can and that oil heat up, it's going to flare the entire oil surface up. You're going to have a essentially an oil fire like you would in a kitchen when the oil flares up. So this can is very important. Now I have made these without the can. Okay. The problem is oil fire. The way to prevent it is to use a very small wick and like I said a very minimal amount of oil. And, uh, but it is very dangerous. I highly suggest never use these indoors. Always outside. Not in a tent. Not in the cabin. Outside. This is for emergency use outside. Let me give you a view of it from above. Okay, with that very little bit of oil in there, you can see it's burning fine. This will burn a long time. And once it burns out, add more oil. And repeat the process. Now you don't want to add oil while it's burning. You want to be safe. Never take chances like that. And like I said, use that cover to block the surface, to, to keep oxygen off the surface of that oil, so that if it does get hot, you won't risk having an out of control oil fire. And of course, always be safe. Do this in an area that's not going to catch fire and set a forest fire. And also have something nearby that you can snuff this out with. Now I took the lid off just to show you that this will heat up quite a bit, getting quite a bit more flame out of it. Now I have it set so the oil is away from that flame and it's just wicking it up and that would be one safe way to do it. It's a little safer but still like I said if it gets too hot you run the risk of having a flaming oil fire. Another word of caution, use only a very small amount of oil, use a small wick, and only do this out of doors. Not in a tent, not in a cabin, out of doors, in a place where you can snuff it out easily should the oil become inflamed. It's just for emergency uses.